Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. Welcome back. How are you? I hope you're okay and I hope everyone's doing well. So I'm using a sky blue background and my embroidery hoop to create a piece that's been inspired by Olga Sobi. Olga did a whole range of series where she used embroidery hoops to create like a swirl effect going through the middle of the hoop and out the other side. So that's the idea and concept. That's my inspiration today. So let's see if I can do Olga's technique justice. So I'm just going to layer the base. I'm using my hairdryer to ensure there's a consistent layer. And I'm going to put some paint on my canvas to give me a, a line that I'm going to follow. I'm going to do this because this always works for me as a bit of a guide. So I'm starting off with a bit of gold and that's going to almost be my template to layer the rest of my paints on top. I'm going to blow it out and then I will go to the second part of the process where I include the embroidery ring to then get that 3D effect of the swirl. So that's my line. Let's get started. I'm just using different blue tones. I'll include all of those details in the description box. But for now, all I'm going to do is take one color at a time and lay the colors on top of each other. Before I blow this out, I'm going to take my torch and just get rid of any of the air bubbles. They're there because I've recently mixed up my paints. I'm now going to take my hairdryer that's on a cool, low setting, and I'm going to blow out the centre towards the ends, and then I'll focus on each of the ends. When I do this, I stop. I pause and I have a look at the composition. You'll see throughout this creation video and this tutorial that as I blow my paints out and tweak the composition, I add more paint on top to get the exact look that I'm looking for. Don't be scared to add more paint and blow over the top of the paints that you've already got. You'll see what I mean shortly, but as I do that, I'm doing that because I wanted to create less negative space in some areas and include more of the blue tones in the other areas. And with any kind of piece, when you're creating it, you do have a vision in your mind on, on what you'd like to achieve. But as something evolves, don't be scared to let your creativity evolve with the piece that you're doing. Change it up, tweak it. Do whatever you want with it. This is your piece. This is your creation. So just go with it and see what you can create. I'm not really liking this area, but that's okay. I'm gonna go back to that and I'm gonna focus on this side first. And as I said, you can always go back to an area and tweak it until you're happy with it. I'm gonna add in a little bit more paint on the top of the colors that I've already got. And what I'll then do is I'll take my blow dryer and then blow the paint across the canvas to create the design that I'm really looking for. I'd really like more of a block of colour on each of the ends because I really want that swirl effect to take place when I place the embroidery hoop in the middle. So as you've seen, I've added a bit more paint and I'm just blowing out the design 
as I go. And this is what I'm talking about. This is the block of colour that I really did want. I am so pleased I added some more blues into that area and blew it out. I'm just going to use my finger now to add in a little bit of detail. I'd like a line of swirl going from one end to the other. So I'm just using my finger lightly. I place my finger lightly on top of the paint and just drag it with my finger. My paint and my finger touches just very lightly and it allows me to drag it and create a line from one end to the other. So I'm happy with the swirl so far, so I'm going to take my embroidery hoop and I'm going to dip the embroidery hoop in gold. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the embroidery hoop just in this section, just here. I've dropped it straight onto the surface. And what I do is I just turn the embroidery hoop slowly. As you can see, I'm just turning it really slowly. That's going to help the gold colour drag around that area. And as I lift it off, you'll be able to see, yeah, there we go, the effect that it has. So that's my outline and that's my guide. So I'm now going to blow out one side and keep the other side because that's what's going to help with the 3D look. And it's at this point that I want to add a little bit more paint as well because I'm looking at the composition and I think it just needs that extra paint to help it flow and to create that 3D effect. So I'm just adding the, in the extra paint now and I'm sure a few of you have already shouted at me already to say no don't do that or you've blown too much of it off but, but trust me I'm adding a little bit more because I want a little bit more of that darker tone, a little bit more of the gold because I want that continuum from the, the gold ring all the way through to the swirl. So I'm just adding a little bit more on top now and then I can blow it out. I'm using my paper towel to soak up some of the blue paint that's happened to disperse around the golden ring. I'd really love that ring to remain golden. And I'm going to take some of the gold colour and also put it down the side so it shows like the ring has split open to allow the swirl to go through. So I'm just mopping up a little bit of the excess paint with my paper towel to allow me to add some extra gold on top. If I hadn't have soaked up that blue before adding the gold, 
it would have muddied and it wouldn't be a crisp gold colour that you'll see at the end. Again, I'm just using my finger to add that extra detail. It helps with the movement of the paint in such a small, delicate area, and it will help with the detail that I'm trying to show. By using my finger, rather than say a paintbrush or a palette knife, I can really kind of touch the paint and move it in the direction that I'd really like to move it in. And what I'm doing is I'm just extending that gold color down some of the side. And that really creates that 3D look. I'm really loving this piece. And yeah, blues and golds are a classic look. I've used them before as a color palette and it's so much fun to work with those kind of colors. So as I go, I'm just adding a little bit more of the gold to the ring and using my finger to move that gold around the ring and down the sides. You'll see here that kind of effect that I'm trying to create. I'm also just taking the drips of paint off the edge so it doesn't drag the design from the surface down the sides and onto the table. But let me take you in now for a close up. And I've not decided which way round I should have this. I don't know whether I should go for horizontal or vertical. But let me show you some of those details by adding that gold in throughout and the finger swipes that I've added as well that you can see. I've really enjoyed playing with this piece and creating such a 3D swirl effect. I kind of feel like it's like a, a golden vortex swirl. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to call this piece. I'd love to know what you think. I'd love to know if you have enjoyed the, the, the tones of the blue that I've used. The gold that I've used have created those cluster of cells and the, the gold ring as well. I think that's really stood out in this piece. I'm going to let it dry and then I'll also take you in for a close up of the dried version. So here we go, the dried version. I'm really happy with it. I've not applied a coat of gloss varnish yet, but with all my pieces, I always use a spray varnish by Winsor & Newton, and I use a high gloss or a gloss varnish spray. So when I apply that, that's gonna really help that gold and those blues really pop out. And I'm excited to see how it's gonna make the ring look in the middle. And as I said, I've not really decided whether this should be vertical or horizontal. So I'll show you both versions. But guys, let me know what you think. What way round should I display this? And do you like the colour palette that I've used? Shall I do more of these? What do you think? I'd love to hear from you and I'd love your feedback. I read every single comment. So thank you in advance for always supporting me and always feeding back on the pieces that you see. I hope you have a great week ahead. Take care of yourselves, be kind, and I hope to see you again in the next video. See you soon, everyone. Bye.